Kojer Mega Site, Iran's largest missile production site. Kojer Site houses missile production complex, partly deep underground, which is closely linked with the military facility at Parchin. While Parchin has gained notoriety for its role in Iran's pre-2003 nuclear weapons program, Kojer has generally escaped public scrutiny despite being the single most important site associated with Iran's ballistic missile program. The vast area nestled in between the mountains of East Tehran houses various entities of the Aerospace Industries Organization, itself subordinate to Iran's Ministry of Defense and Armed Forces Logistics. The two largest of these are the Shahid Bakari Industrial Group responsible for the production of Iran's solid propellant missiles and the Shahid Hammat Industrial Group producing Iran's liquid fuel ballistic missiles. Both groups, in turn, entail a myriad of subcompanies in Kojur as well as other parts of the country dedicated to the various tasks of missile production. The Hajj Qasim ballistic missile is for instance a product of the Shahid Bakari Industrial Group in Kojur. The installations at Kojur produces both liquid propellant and solid propellant. Satellite pictures show areas associated with the production of solid propellant and liquid propellant as well as test stands for liquid propellant engines and solid propellant rocket motors. There is also a nuclear weapons research facility in Kojur, known as the Sorka Hizar Atomic Site, where, for example, measuring devices for underground nuclear tests and the design of key components for nuclear weapons are developed. In Kojur, several tunnels can be seen deep in the high mountains, which provide a wide and secure space for Iranian military scientists and engineers to conduct missile-related research and production activities. An example of this type of underground missile assembling centers was shown previously by IRGC at the unveiling of the Desfil missile in 2019. In these convoluted tunnels, Long assembly lines for missile assembly can be seen, as well as large numbers of technicians checking and installing key missile components for guidance and steering, such as fiber optic gyroscopes and servo motors, and assemble various parts of the missile body. At Kojur site, there are also large number of high explosive test buildings, responsible for high explosives research and development, enabling Iran to study chemical high explosives and nuclear detonators. The Iranian military scientists supply expertise in formulation and synthesis, likely with integration of experimental data with computer simulations to understand energetic materials, some of which are for example key nanothermite additives used in solid-fuel ballistic missiles to boost the burning rate, hence increasing the speed of missile. Kojer has several large fully contained firing containers for testing explosives and can safely detonate experiments with up to 20 kilograms of chemical high explosives analyzed with state-of-the-art diagnostics. Research at Kojer has focused on high explosives used in the main charge, booster, detonator of nuclear weapons firing system, development of new explosives in the synthesis laboratories, explosives properties testing, Hydratist and Diagnostic Development, Microdetonics Laboratory for Explosive Studies at the Micron Scale, and Multiple Firing Tanks for Explosives Testing at Larger Scales. These efforts have enabled for instance the design of and improvements to the key components of nuclear weapons and development of stronger missile boosters as well as conventional warheads. One of these components are for instance Multipoint Initiation Shock Wave Generator which according to the leaked documents, Iran further improved and developed it, after the Iranian nuclear weapons program, known as Ahmad Project, was downsized in late 2003. The Iranian nuclear detonator or MPI shock wave generator system was composed of two hemispheres, connected together, with small milled channels and holes uniformly distributed on it, and filled with high explosives. On each hemisphere, a single detonator, or exploding bridge wire, sets off the explosives in the channels, and all the small explosive charges in the holes detonate at the same time, igniting the main explosive charge under the shell. Researchers in Kojer also conduct performance and safety testing aimed at ensuring that the high explosives in conventional warheads will be dependable over many decades. Routine tests examine the physical, chemical, detonation, and mechanical properties of high explosives. 
Thanks for watching and see you next time.